in the deepest darkness of solitude, would you desire to make the light your own? Would you answer the stranger calling for you from beyond a closed door? Their voice is despairing, their message bleak. News of gleaming ore turned dark as night. But what does it matter? One knows the truth. In this world, there is no compassion. My pain does not exist here. We've walked quite a long way now. Is everyone feeling all right? Naturally. Though no doubt it would be easier if I were riding my wyvern. We're going to Brodia, right? Why aren't we taking the road? Brodia is widely known for its hatred of war. We would not be permitted to cross the border. And their border security is tighter than that of any other nation. So, we must enter covertly. But more to the point, we are no longer going to Brodia. We are already there. Huh? We crossed into Brodia already. We have been within its borders for some time. And you didn't think to mention that sooner? I was unaware it was so important. I hope you can still reschedule the parade. <sighs> I'm just saying that allies should keep each other informed. Shh. Quiet, you two. Someone's here. We cannot have been discovered already. There they are! Wait, Divine One! D stop! Please! Don't hurt me! Gregory! You know each other? Indeed. Gregory is one of the Four Winds, like me. I'm not familiar. We are a small band of knights established after the war, to protect Lady Nell and Lord Nil. As the name implies, the Four Winds is composed of four members. Gregory here included. I directed him to gather information for us, same as Celestia. Thank you for your dutiful work, Gregory. But we did plan to meet some distance from here. Right. About that. I got turned around and didn't think I could find our spot. Wasn't sure what to do, so I headed back to the border. I'm so grateful I found you. Before you give us your report, there is something that you should know. This individual here is... Not the Divine Dragon we know, right? <laughs> Correct. So I'm guessing the ritual worked, and you summoned this one from elsewhere. Indeed. That spares me the work of explanation. Amazing, Gregory. How did you figure all of that out? Not sure exactly. Something about this one seems... scary, I guess. Probably the fact I almost attacked you. Sorry about that. No, that's not it. You're just different from the Divine Dragon I knew. I'm not talking appearances, either. It's like your essence is... off. I'm not making any sense, am I? Gregory's sense of caution is sharp. He may be attuned to differences others don't notice. I see. That's okay. So long as you aren't a threat, I'm sure I'll get used to you. Oh, and sorry if I'm not addressing you formally enough. Always been bad at that etiquette stuff. I don't mind. Please, feel free to speak casually. It's alright, Gregory. The Divine Dragon has proven to be a good person, full of kindness. That's right, Divine One. I quite like you. Thanks, Nell. I like you, too. <sighs> you said the Four Winds were four knights. Where are the other two, then? They are embedded in the remaining nations, gathering intelligence there. As Celestia took Firene and Gregory Brodia, the other two are assigned to Illusia and Solm. I'm the leader of our little group. I'll admit it, the name Celestia of the Four Winds carries weight. <laughs> I'm a fairly renowned general. Either that, or you're so loud that people have no choice but to know your name. <clears throat> what did you say? Just joking! <laughs> Come on, no need for violence. What was that? Are we under attack? <laughs> Looks like my pursuers found us. Sorry, I really thought I'd lost them. Explain, Gregory. Oh, um, I was spotted while scouting. 
I ran for my life, but <laughs> I guess they followed. One, two, three. Uh, no use counting. The enemy outnumbers us, and easily. We should run. But wait, why not fight them off? If they are pursuing us, then they are border guards or knights. They will not have a bracelet. A fight will exhaust us without any gain. You want to run? I'm your man. This way, everyone. Follow me. We should be safe here. Let's just head out for a bit. Ah, that reminds me, Divine One. While I see that you prefer to fight, we are accustomed to being on the defensive. I noticed. You choose your battles. Of course. How do you think we managed to survive this long? Not by fighting bravely every time someone comes after us, but by running away. Beyond operations to place the emblems into slumber, we are in no position to attack anyone. Perhaps if the Four Winds were equal to other nations' knightly orders, it would be different. But alas, we're not. I fear we are something of a disappointment. Nonsense! The Four Winds have saved our lives time and time again! My sister and I are very proud of you. Kind words, Lord Nell. I thank you. The foe has abandoned Chase. Gregory, give us your report. Something's happening in Brodia. They've started sending soldiers out of the country. I would not have expected them to be plotting an invasion. Where? That I don't know. Wherever it is, they've done a good job keeping it secret. But judging by the intel I got, I think they want to take the seven bracelets. Interesting. Maybe Brodia's doing what we are. Keeping them away from our unknown enemy. I don't think that's their goal. It seems like they want the bracelets' power for themselves. What would a peaceful nation want with more power? The boon granted by the emblem bracelets when they are gathered varies by circumstance. With all seven gathered in an awakened state, the result, as you know, is enormous power. But gather all seven when they are asleep. And the bracelets can render you immune to all harm. Immune? They make you invincible? That's right. It's the ultimate defense. For a country that hates war, I can't think of anything more valuable. If that is so, then they would need the emblems to be asleep. They would require Nell. Perhaps the assassins sent to Lethos Castle were actually kidnappers from Brodia. That is possible. Well, we don't know any of that for sure. But there's one thing we do know. Brodia is going to raise an army, and soon. You figured it all out. Well done. Though, I'm afraid this means we can't let you leave. <gasps> Impossible. I didn't sense anyone approaching. It seems these are no average soldiers. They are Brodian royals. Look, Diamant. Here they are. Now finish them off. Or must I do everything for you, my pathetic excuse for a brother? I was planning to take them by surprise, Ulchrist. You shouldn't have revealed our position. Oh, thanks for telling me the plan. Nell, Nil, I take no pleasure in this. I hoped our next meeting would be friendly. Sadly, it seems now that bloodshed is unavoidable. You must be angry indeed to discard the peaceful principles of your nation. Look, Nell, he is wearing one of the bracelets. You're seeking the bracelets, hmm? What a coincidence. As your spy deduced, so are we. It seems our goals align. What do you say? Should we join forces once more? You cannot be serious. You're right, I'm not. What gave it away? War must be torn out at the root before its tendrils spread. As much as it pains me to kill former allies, I have no other choice. Soldiers to battle! Capture Lady Nell alive! Show the rest no mercy. Circumstances now demand we fight. Celestia, Gregory, prepare for battle. Gladly. I'm gonna focus on not getting hurt. Ready yourself, Divine One. I expect no less from you than before. That goes without saying. It is over. We withdraw. Diamond, no! We can't surrender! 
Not after they took our bracelet! We must get it back! Come on! Round two! You have a plan, then? An idea that will turn the tide? Please, share it. <sighs> now, Nil, we are removing ourselves from the game board. We won't interfere any longer. The bracelet is in your hands, as is Brodia's fate. Please, guide the world to peace. This is the bracelet of the Lonely Air, without a doubt. With this, we now have four bracelets. Emblem Veronica dwells within. She has the power to call upon soldiers from other worlds. But she is tainted by evil, the same as Firenay's emblem. We should assume they all will be. Am I with you now? Yes, Emblem Veronica. But we won't make you fight for us. You can rest for now. I see. I am grateful for the reprieve, but I am also a bit lonely. When I awaken, I hope you will be at my side, even without a contract binding us together. Don't worry. You'll remain with us during our journey. And someday, we will see you again. I suppose that settles things here. I'm not used to fighting my own battles, let alone winning them. Yes. Fleeing comes more naturally to us all, the Divine Dragon excluded. There may be some truth to that. Each of us has run away from one thing or another. What do you mean? During the war a thousand years ago, when Sombron burned my village, I fled to Lethos. Other mage dragons possessed powerful magic, but mine has never been that strong. That's why Sombron couldn't find me, while my family and friends, all brilliant mages, perished. Ah. Uh. Sombron planned to force the mage dragons to fight for him, but we refused to submit. And now I'm the last of my kind. I used to live in Illusia as a follower of Sombron, but I couldn't act like the others. The fell dragon craved pain and blood, and his disciples were only happy to oblige. I just couldn't join their fervor. So I faked it, and when a priest found out, I had no choice but to run. Run, or give up my life to the fell dragon. I welcomed Gregory into Lethos. He selflessly rushed to my aid in a vicious battle in Illusia. You say it like I'm some kind of hero. You were surrounded by the corrupted, so I went to help. And I, as you know, am a failure. I am only alive because Nell and I fled from Sombron together. I have said it before, and I will say it again. You are not a failure, Nil. I'm sorry. I know it upsets you when I speak that way. But Nell is much stronger than I am. She could face any opponent, if not for me. So I suppose she is also one who is comfortable taking a stand. No. I have done as much fleeing as the rest of you. That's not true. I've never seen you run away from anything. I fled my responsibility. I should have stopped the royals of the Four Nations from taking their respective bracelets. You were only respecting their wishes. You even said that's what the Divine Dragon would want. I said that to mask my fear. I was afraid that my plea would be rejected, that I would lose our allies, and that I would be forced to fight them in Lethos Castle. I had no idea. So I too have fled when I should have made a stand. I could have stopped all of this. That knowledge prevented me from leaving the land of Lethos until our savior arrived. And because of that, I am perhaps to blame for the current state of the world. Absolutely not. You have done nothing wrong. I agree. Our unknown opponent should carry the blame, not you. I never would have thought you were running away too, Lady Nell. You always seem so strong. We may be a collection of weaklings, but we're still alive. That has to count for something. The Divine Dragon was strong, and the Divine Dragon died. No. All right, that's enough doom and gloom. We're making this Divine Dragon worry. Things are different now. Each of us has proven we can handle ourselves in battle. 
That is in no small part thanks to you. Your guidance has been a blessing. It's true. Yeah, you've been a big help. I am also grateful for your assistance. Such as it has been thus far. <laughs> I should have guessed a qualifier was coming. But I know you mean well, so thank you. And I'm glad to be of help. Well, there is still much to be done. Let us keep up our momentum. Where are we going next? To the Kingdom of Knowledge in the West. The Kingdom of Illusia. Hey, look, it's Nell, the pride of the brood. Not only can she transform, but she can also put emblems to sleep. Isn't that right, Nell? Must be rough for you, though, having that failure for a twin. Are you talking about Nell? Oh, is that this failure's name? I don't usually bother to remember them. Don't you worry about his weakness rubbing off on you? We could just get rid of him. Wouldn't be a problem. All he's doing is holding you back. Wouldn't you agree now? What do you say? <sighs> you must not be serious. What? I said surely you must not be serious. If you truly intended to kill my brother, I would have to. I would have to. Was all of this my doing? What have I done? Called the weak. <sighs> Father, forgive me. I did not intend to. There is nothing to forgive. Please continue. I did not mean to interrupt the killing. I believe you will make a suitable heir. I... You. I told you Brodia would avoid conflict. What more do you need? And why did the guards let you in? I killed them. <coughs> Entrusting your safety to them was a grievous lapse in judgment. Now, I would like to know whether the attack on Lethos Castle was your doing. Answer. What are you talking about? An attack on Lethos? Which country would dare start hostilities? Firene? No. Illusia, surely. You truly seem to know nothing of the matter. So be it. I have no further use for you. Olchrist! <laughs> Olchrist! You monster! You filthy snake! I don't understand. We gave you what you wanted. You had no reason to do this. In fact, I do have a reason, King Diamant. I would not ordinarily come for you by stealth, but I could not ignore this opportunity. Now, I must return before dawn. It would not do for the others to become suspicious. <sighs> King Alfred and Princess Saline hardly put up a fight either.